I am Maurizio Muscaritoli and uh, I am an associate professor of internal medicine at uh, the University La Sapienza in Rome, Italy. Uh, I work in clinical nutrition and I am particularly interested in the mechanisms of uh, muscle loss in cancer. So in the next few minutes I will try to explain some of the mechanisms underlying uh, cancer-related muscle loss. Cancer-related muscle loss is a very prevalent uh, feature in cancer patients and uh, uh, the uh, prevalence of uh, weight loss exceeding 10% uh, of uh, uh, body weight is uh, particularly high in patients with uh, uh, cancer of, uh, originating in the gastrointestinal tract, particularly stomach cancer, pancreas cancer. But it is uh, highly prevalent also in many other types of cancer. We could say that uh, patients uh, with uh, um, breast cancer are the only ones who do not develop a particular uh, degree of weight loss during the cancer journey. The mechanisms underlying weight loss in cancer are uh, different and the pathogenesis of uh, cancer-related weight loss is considered to be multifactorial. It is essentially uh, related to the uh, complex interaction between uh, decreased food intake, uh, increased energy expenditure, and decreased anabolic response, particularly in muscle. The presence of a tumor evokes in the host an inflammatory response which is uh, um, responsible for metabolic alterations uh, in the patient, particularly leading to insulin resistance and decreased uh, um, glucose utilization. But also, uh, inflammation is a potent driver of uh, muscle catabolism, uh, leading to activation of uh, uh, proteolytic systems in the muscle, which will in turn lead to the complex uh, picture of cancer cachexia, which is uh, um, the association of weight loss and fat uh, and muscle uh, mass loss. Uh, Cancer-related weight loss has uh, major clinical consequences uh, since it is well known uh, from, uh, uh, recent, uh, from the recent literature that uh, cancer-related weight loss is associated with uh, decreased quality of life, decreased patient's performance, uh, increased morbidity and mortality, and uh, uh, decreased tolerance to antineoplastic treatments. This is uh, particularly important, and recent data show how uh, the uh, reduction in muscle mass is critical for predicting the uh, rate of uh, uh, toxicity of antineoplastic treatments. So in summary, um, the uh, uh, prevalence of uh, weight loss is very high. We should try to prevent weight loss in cancer patients, and uh, uh, this could be obtained by careful monitoring of nutritional status of the patient since the very beginning of the cancer journey. This is aimed at preventing weight loss, at preventing muscle loss, at improving nutritional intake, and in maintaining uh, good uh, uh, health, good, good uh, um, physical conditions in order to uh, better tolerate antineoplastic treatments.